see now the topic is base absorption and minimum per gram factor see what exactly this base absorption very important see what is this exactly the base absorption nothing but see we need to take the 1 gram of solid see this is a 1 gram of solid see, this is 1 gram of solid then how much amount of liquid base see how much amount of liquid base this yellow colored thing is liquid base see how much amount of liquid base is required to produce a capsulatable mixture see how much gram of this liquid base is required to produce the capsulatable mixture nothing but both 1 gram of solid along with liquid base you can call it a capsulatable mixture so the base absorption simply nothing but how much gram of liquid base see how much gram of liquid base is required <clears throat> to produce a capsulatable mixture with 1 gram of solid that is we can call it a base absorption simply nothing but <clears throat> amount of liquid base is required see the formula for that one is weight of liquid base that should be in the grams next one is weight of the solid weight of solid we already know that is 1 gram of solid that, that is the base absorption formula <clears throat> they have asked this definition in the year gate 2006 see this is a liquid base this is a solid both liquid phase along with solid we can call it a capsulatable mixture see what is the importance of calculating this base absorption nothing but this base absorption is responsible for calculating the minimum per gram factor next one is minimum per gram factor see this is simply nothing but volume see how much volume see this is how much volume that can be occupied by both liquid base both liquid base and one gram of solid that volume should be we need to express it in the terms of minimum that's all minimum per gram factor simply nothing but volume occupied by volume occupied by both liquid base and one gram of solid that volume we need to express it in the minimum so that's all that is about the minimum per gram factor see base absorption see we people know base absorption nothing but amount of liquid base what this is a one gram of solid then this is the volume this is the volume <coughs> divided by weight of capsulatable mixture see both liquid base plus solid what is that weight weight of that capsulatable mixture we need to mention here that then we will get the minimum per gram factor see if there is lower the base absorption of the solid then small size small capsule size should be needed see if there is a lower base absorption of the solid then it simply indicates small capsule size can be recommended this minimum per gram factor and base absorption responsible for the selection of capsule sizes mm -hmm.